The advertising blitz is at saturation level as the election campaign enters its final week. Nine's expert commentators Spencer Jolly and Peter Beatty cut through the spin to see what it all means. With the end virtually in sight, the bare-knuckle political ad battle, knock-em-down approach is on in earnest. Labor has a budget black hole, the bikey gangs back them, and the minor parties are doing deals. When Campbell Newman talks about the future, remember what he did in the past. But as bruising affairs go, the 2015 attack ads are nowhere near as brutal as those employed three years ago. 2012 didn't work. And therefore, if they go back to the nasty road, that will not work with Queenslanders. Being positive is a better way to win voters. The scramble for the moral high ground of no concern to the unions and other third-party endorsers for Labor. Campbell Newman has cut 24,000 jobs. They can be more negative than the major political parties to send a clear, strong message of what they want to achieve. Former LNP member Dr Chris Davis fancies himself as a political assassin, now spruiking for the unions and the wilderness society. Arrogance, ignorance and aggression is what we saw when Campbell Newman picked his fight with doctors. He's a bit of a gun for hire. He's obviously done ads for both of them. But as I say, I think the ads look credible, even though he's consumed with loathing for his previous political party. The battle for your vote being waged across a variety of social media platforms. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Campbell Newman leaving nothing to chance, taking his own video camera person out on the trail. You'd have liked that, wouldn't you? Oh, absolutely. You were campaigning. Oh, absolutely. I think that's 10 out of 10. I would certainly love to have done that. Generally speaking, both parties need to improve in terms of um, the type of content they're posting. Um, we have seen video... Uh, been a popular choice and, and we know that video gets more engagement. Social media expert Ben Bradshaw is especially intrigued by the online battle for Ashgrove. Kate has a grassroots approach as Campbell Newman is very much on social media, very commercialised. Kate Jones, unabashed in giving voters daily glimpses of what she's been up to, determined to personalise her campaign, in direct contrast to her broader media strategy. Kate Jones, novel campaign, shying away from cameras at every opportunity. The media can't even inspect whether she's got callous knuckles from all the door knocking she says she's doing. I'm sure she does have callous knuckles. They're trying to run a local campaign and stay out of, I guess, the central campaign, and that's the strategy. OK, and she even locked the media out of a major launch. Well, I would have done that. As you know, I'd have locked you in and all the other media and I wouldn't allow you, allow you to leave. Spencer Jolly, Nine News.